Donnie Trump's doing a lot of ranting and raving and whining and crying and making court appearances. But he's also just said that he's not going to participate in the debates for the Republican nomination. Now, some of that makes sense. He's so far ahead. He can gain nothing by going into these debates. But Donnie loves being the center of attention. He'd hate the idea that all his opponents would be getting attention, and he wouldn't. The problem Donnie has is that there's one person he does not want to debate, and that would be Chris Christie. And here's why. First of all, Chris Christie was his coach for debate in 2016 and 2020. Secondly, Chris Christie is a variation on Donald Trump. He's a big, loud buffoon, and he knows how to run over somebody in a debate. Now, Donald Trump is a bully too, but he's also a coward, so he doesn't want somebody that's going to push up against him. He'd rather have a free and easy time with quiet people up there debating with him. Now, Chris Christie has no chance to be president of the United States, but he sure can make things difficult for Donald Trump. Like I say, he doesn't want to debate with Chris Christie because he's a bigger, tougher, smarter version of himself. And that's not something any coward or Donald Trump wants to run up against. Now, I'm sure Chris Christie is going to shame him. And unfortunately, Donald Trump's not too bright. His ego will get the best of him. And if we're lucky, he will be lured into debating with Chris Christie, where he'll fail like he always fucking fails. But then Chris Christie's getting like two or three percent of the primary polls, so he doesn't have a chance. This is the point of what I've said about Republicans not having a chance in 2024. Donald Trump has gotten all the support, but he can't end up winning the nomination, certainly not the presidency. He's not. He's going to be taken out of the equation at some time between now and 2024. And the later that happens, the better for the Democrats, because then that puts the Republicans in fucking disarray. And then they have to choose from a bunch of people that are polling at two, three, or four percent. This is all working in the benefit of the Democrats. The Republicans are in chaos and they can't get anything straight. As long as Donald Trump is in the mix, the Republican Party can't make legitimate plans for anything. They're too afraid to go against Donald Trump, and that is the problem with the Republican Party. Everything they do is based on fear, and they're fear afraid of Donald Trump, who is somebody you should not be afraid of. You should kick that fucker to the curb.